All right, so I just uh, went over my expenses for my tarot business for the year of 2022. And I was very interested to see how the first car that I financed did because I've actually had this car for all of 2022. So I can see the average like profit it made after all the expenses and the monthly payment that I make for the loan is because I really want to see what it averaged out to per month and see how well it did. I bought this car for $11,000 with an $11,000 uh, cash loan has about 7% interest rate. I'm going to make another video about how it can be beneficial if you're buying like older cars to use cash loans instead of uh, like a normal financing loan. Even though the interest rate can be higher, there are a couple benefits. Um, it's a 2013 Honda Civic Coupe. It's got these cool rims on it. The guy I bought it from, I uh, put the rims on. They're old Acura rims and he got them powder coated gray. They look really amazing. When I first bought the car, they had no curb rash. And now they have a lot from renters, but you know, that's all right. They had 68 trips, got a 4.98 star rating. Lots of good ratings. Great car, handles well. You know, people, yeah, people like the handling on this car. They like driving it. People love Civics. <clears throat> and bought the car for $11,000. The monthly payment is $216.77. I got it on a five-year term. A couple of the main things when you're financing a car that make it successful or not successful is, first of all, you have to be making a good amount of money over your monthly loan payments. You're making a profit. But another thing is, is you need you want it to where when you go to sell the car you can sell it for at least the amount of money that you owe on the loan still so that's another thing that kind of will decide if whether it was a good buy and you set up your loan correctly and all that so this car i'm really happy with the profit it did I can go over that right now so i bought it right at the end of 2021 december I used the $11,000 loan to buy the car and then a little bit of expenses out of my own pocket. Uh, I paid about $800 for the, paid the registration fees and crap and then just $130 for some Honda brand rubber floor mats. Recommend getting like the factory brand rubber floor mats for your car as they make it look so much nicer. Easier to clean the floor mats. $27 for wheel locks, the wheels don't get stolen, $20 in gas. And oil filter and some brake fluid. This is about $820 I paid out of my pocket after the uh, $11,000 loan. Um, you know, but it brought in almost that $800. It brought in like $600 something right at the end of 2021. So the monthly loan payments $216 and like 70 cents a month. And I pay about $55 a month in insurance. Although I switched to the $55 a month under insurance about halfway through the year. I was using, uh, I have full coverage on it now with Metro Mile, but before I was didn't have full coverage, so I was only paying about $25 a month per year for the first six months. But for 2022, it brought in $10,410.45. The total expenses for the car, including the monthly payments for the loan, the insurance and maintenance and everything was four thousand one hundred ninety two dollars the expenses average out to three hundred forty nine dollars a month and let me see what the revenue averages out to per month if you're in it's bringing in an average of eight hundred sixty seven dollars of revenue a month and has an average of three hundred forty nine dollars in expenses a month and that comes out to a profit of $518.02 of profit for every month for the year 2022. So I'm very happy with that. A car that I pretty much just paid, you know, I paid like $800 or something out of my pocket for at first. Maybe a little more because I had to buy like the, the tracking device too up front. But it's really nothing for a car that's bringing in $518 a month in profit. It's pretty amazing. Not much work to run this car. It's very reliable. You know, I haven't really had to do anything. All I had to do is replace tires and the serpentine belt. That's pretty much it. And let me go over right now. Let's see, the amount of money that I owe on the loan still. Is, one thing I should clarify too with the car is uh, the only real issue with it is the, the top of the roof and the top of the hood. The paint is pretty sun damaged. 
I know how to fix that myself. It'll cost me like $150 in paint or something like that. Getting that done at a shop, I don't know, maybe be around like, you could get it done for under a thousand for sure if you look around for cheap shops. Um, that's kind of the one thing I should clarify. The only maintenance I've had to do other than tires is the serpentine belt, which is like a $40 part. I did it myself. But even if you got the serpentine belt done at a shop, it would only be about, I don't know, $150, like $200 or something. It's a cheap part. The labor is very simple. So this car has been very reliable. So I owe $8,740 on the car still. And the car had 80,000 miles on it when I got it. The car is a little over 110,000 miles on it. So all I gotta do is look on Craigslist, see what cars like that are selling for now. And here I'm looking on Craigslist. These are Honda Civic Coupes with under 129,000 miles, model year 2010 or newer. So here's a 2012 Honda Civic Coupe with 85,000 miles, selling for $9,900. That's a pretty good deal. So <clears throat> this is actually, it looks like a really good deal, but it's still a year older than my car. It's priced at $9,900. So I owe less than $1,000 less than that, but I think this one's priced pretty cheap. Um, 2010 Civic Coupe. It's quite a bit older than mine. Your 2012 Coupe. Right, this has the same mileage as mine. Price at 10,500. Mine is pretty much the base model, except it does have a reverse camera, but it does have those cool rims on it too. 2015 Honda Civic Coupe for 9500 This one, uh, this is priced pretty cheap for 2015. But I'm pretty sure that I could sell this car for $8,740 at least and be able to pay the rest of the loan off. I don't, I'm confident that wouldn't be any problem. I know when I was buying this car too, a lot of the people, you know, saying not to buy cars, they're worried about it because the price of cars is going to drop and blah, 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 and you're going to owe more money on your car, than, owe more, you know, you're going to owe more money on the loan than your car is worth. You kind of just got to try stuff. You know, if, if the prices drop suddenly, you get scared, you can always just sell it. When you're buying cheaper cars, it's less of a risk too, but... The price of cars that are around $10,000, the prices have not gone down at all. The prices are still about, for you know, for like a $10,000 car, they're almost double of what they were pre-coronavirus. They're probably like, yeah, they're just about double the prices that they were. So, yeah, this car has done really well. Um, had four cars on Turo before this one's the fifth one that I got, first one that I financed. Um, I'm gonna do a lot more Turo videos. I'm gonna do videos. I gotta do videos of my other car. I have a 2017 Mini Cooper convertible now. This one I have a normal like car loan. I got it from a dealer. I'm gonna go over this car. I bought it I think in May or something like that of 2022. And then I have a Honda Pilot that I got in like September of 2022. And I literally just bought my eighth car. I have eight cars now. I bought a 2012 Honda Civic just before I'm making this video. It's got leather interior and a moonroof. It's really nice. Looks amazing. Make a video. I'm gonna make a bunch of videos. I'm gonna make a definitely need to make a video talking about the personal loans that I've used and how that can be a big benefit over getting uh, like normal financing loans that you'd usually buy a car with. Point on making a lot more tour videos. So just. Let me know if you know certain Turo videos that you want to see or videos that you want me to do. Just let me know because I plan on making a lot more videos 